just launched the second model of its latest GeForce 40 series, the RTX 4080. While still positioned as a high-end GPU, the 4080 is considerably more affordable than the 4090, which sits at the top of the product stack. In this video, we'll take a look under the hood of the 4080, go through its specs and benchmark it in multiple games so you can see just how powerful it really is when upgrading your PC or buying a next-gen 3XS system with one installed. And if you want us to make more videos like this about new hardware, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button below. Now though, before we dive into the specs and benchmarks, it's worth doing a quick recap of the new Ada Lovelace architecture that the 4080 and its big brother, the 4090, are based on. Ada introduces several new techniques and technologies, most notably DLSS3, which is capable of generating all new frames to massively speed up CPU limited games. And there's also the Opacity Micromap engine, which speeds up ray tracing hit and miss calculations. Meanwhile, the Displaced Micro Mesh engine speeds up building and storing BVH data. And finally, Shader Execution Reordering enables Ada GPUs to reorder shader instructions into object order to speed up rendering. For more information on these features, check out our deep dive into the Ada architecture in our 4090 video, which we put a link to in the description below. Now that we've highlighted the principal new features and technologies introduced by the Ada architecture, let's take a closer look at the 4080 codenamed AD103. For starters, it's armed with 9,728 CUDA cores, 304 Tensor cores, and 76 RT cores, which is 41% fewer than the mighty 4090 but it operates at a very similar frequency, boosting up to 2.51 GHz. It's also got less memory too, being equipped with 16 GB of GDDR6X. These spec reductions mean the 4080 tips the scale at £1,269 versus £1,699 for the 4090, so it's certainly a lot more affordable. In terms of power, the 4080 requires at least a 750 watt PSU, either via three traditional 8-pin PCIe cables or a single new 16-pin PCIe 5 cable. We put the 4080 through its paces up against the mighty 4090 so you can see how the two new cards compare, plus their predecessors from the 30 series and the nearest equivalent AMD Radeon RX 6000 series GPUs. As all of these are high-end graphics cards, all of the benchmarks are run at the highest quality settings with all the eye candy dialed up to the max at two resolutions. 2560 by 1440 and 3840 by 2160. All of the cars are tested with the latest Nvidia and AMD drivers using a fresh install of Windows 11 Home in one of our 3XS gaming PCs with the following specs you can see on screen now. The action RPG Cyberpunk 2077 is a challenging game to run with ray tracing enabled at 1440p with the 4080 just about able to achieve a smooth rate without resorting to DLSS 2. That said, you get a miles better frame rate if you turn on DLSS 2, leaping from 63 to 123 FPS. No graphics card is fast enough to play Cyberpunk 2077 natively at 4K with ray tracing enabled, but enabling DLSS 2 gives the 4080 a smooth 84 FPS frame rate. This is a comfortable 20% ahead of the previous gen 3090 Ti, which at launch was a considerably more expensive card. The open world shooter Far Cry 6 does support gorgeous ray trace graphics, but not DLSS. All the high-end GPUs that we tested were able to run the game smoothly at 1440p. The 4080 really is overkill here. However, when we upped the resolution to 4K, the gaps between all of the cards started to widen. The new 4080 proved 18% faster than the old 3090 Ti, but the 4090 is the clear leader of the pack with a 22% lead. In Metro Exodus at 1440p, the new 4080 turned in a smooth frame rate of 98 frames per second with ray tracing, speeding up to 114 FPS with DLSS enabled, a clear lead over its 30 series forebears. The 4080 can't break into triple digit frame rates at 4K even with DLSS enabled, but it's still noticeably faster than the 30 series cards. In Shadow of the Tomb Raider at 1440p, all of the cards tested exceeded a smooth 60 FPS average frame rate, the minimum required for smooth gameplay. Even so, we still measured the 4080 clocking in an impressive 118 FPS with ray tracing enabled, speeding up to 173 frames per second with DLSS 2 switched on. Upping the resolution to 4K makes Shadow of the Tomb Raider only playable with ray tracing on the 30 series GPUs if you turn on DLSS. 
The Faulty 80 did pass the 60 FPS test by one frame, meaning you should also enable DLSS really, which increases the frame rate to a silky smooth 121 FPS. Of all the new features and enhancements in the GeForce 40 series, the biggest and most exciting is clearly DLSS 3. As previously noted, DLSS 2 does a great job of speeding up the frame rate in hard to run games, but DLSS 3 is far more ambitious, not just upscaling frames, but creating all new frames on the fly, with Nvidia claiming up to four times performance improvements over native rendering. As DLSS 3 is a brand new feature, we could only test it on a small number of titles in time for this video. Although Nvidia has announced that more than 30 titles will be adding support imminently. In the meantime, let's see how much extra performance DLSS 3 gives the 4080. Using a special build of Cyberpunk 2077 and 3D Mark, we benchmarked the new 4080 against its big brother, the 4090, and the older 3090 Ti. In Cyberpunk 2077 at 4K, turning on DLSS 3 increased the frame rate by 258%, taking it from a jerky experience of 31 to a smooth 111 FPS. We also saw a similar speed up in 3D Mark from DLSS 3 from 39 to 132 FPS, an increase of 238%. Even though we were only able to test DLSS 3 in a couple of titles, it's clearly a huge step forward, boosting performance and even more dramatically than DLSS 2 did. Whilst it's still early days for DLSS 3, it looks to be a fantastic addition to the Nvidia toolbox and yet another reason to consider a GeForce 40 series GPU over its competitors. We also ran the synthetic benchmark 3D Mark Time Spy on all of the graphics cards. Now you should always take the results of synthetic benchmarks with a pinch of salt compared to real games, but in this instance, the 4080's 26% lead over the next fastest GPU, the 3090 Ti, is quite similar to the four real games that we benchmarked earlier in this video. The Port Royal version of 3D Mark adds in ray tracing support, so it has a lot more eye candy to feast your eyes on. The 4080 proves to have a 23% lead over the 3090 Ti, although of course the 4090 is still much, much faster. Graphics card performance isn't just critical for gaming, they're also an essential tool for content creators, especially if you use the NVIDIA Studio driver. V-Ray is a great example of this, with the 4080 rendering 41% faster than the 3090 Ti. We also ran Octane Rendering Benchmark on the GPUs, once again seeing the 4080 pull well ahead of the 30 series GPUs with a 36% lead over the 3090 Ti. And we also ran the synthetic benchmark Geekbench 5, which runs through a variety of compute calculations in both OpenCL and CUDA mode, with the 4080 proving 10% faster than the 3090 Ti, the smallest difference of any of the benchmarks. As expected, the 4080 draws a little less power than 4090 when gaming, but still a lot more than previous generation graphics cards, so it needs a hefty 750 watt PSU or greater. The mighty NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 set a new standard for graphics cards with incredible brute performance in games and content creation applications. The addition of DLSS 3, although still in its infancy, gives the 4090 another edge over the competition, enabling silky smooth frame rates at 4K with ray tracing enabled. The new 4080 follows in the footsteps of its big brother, delivering smooth frame rates in the toughest to run games at a significantly lower price point. In two of the four games, the 4080 was able to render smooth gameplay at 4K, needing DLSS 2 to provide a playable frame rate in the other two. That's a big step up from previous Gen 30 series GPUs, especially when you consider what DLSS should mean for frame rates when it starts getting implemented in more games. Let us know in the comments section below what you think of the new 4080, and then head on over to the scan website using the links in the description to check out the full range of graphics cards and gaming PCs from 3XS Systems, with Nvidia's latest and greatest built right in.